Welcome back, nice garage. We are about to install a new exhaust that we picked up for this 2019 CRF 110F that Honda came out with. It's fuel injected. Uh, has a little uh, four speed automatic, well, it's not automatic, I'm sorry, clutchless transmission. This has an electric start and it has a kickstart if the battery would happen to die. So what we're doing right now, we really haven't done any mods to this bike, except for when it first came out, uh, we installed a skid plate from a 2018, which wasn't a direct bolt on, uh, but it was only took one, one easy modification where you had to drill and tap uh, the engine block to make that fit on. So that's the only mod on this bike. So here's what we ordered, uh, got delivered. A, it is a Pro Circuit T6 stainless system for the 19 and 20. I'm sure it'll fit the 21, but I'm not 100%. But anyway, uh, this came from CRFs only, and it is the Pro Circuit exhaust. Go ahead and pull it out of the box. All right, we got some install instructions, couple stickers, a little packet of anti-seize. All right, it's packed well. All right. Ooh, look at that. Oh, is that nice? Oh, I can't wait to hear what this sounds like. Has a spark arrestor in there. So it's the T6 Pro Circuit. Nice. All right, that's it. So we're gonna fire the bike up, let you listen to what the stock exhaust sounds like before we start the install on the Pro Circuit exhaust. Go ahead. This is a cold start. And then we'll take another video clip of the sound. We're excited to hear what it's going to sound like. Okay, so if you take the time to read the instructions, which I recommend, um, this is from Pro Circuit. So it tells you to remove, tells you you'll need to remove the stock exhaust and install the new one. 10 millimeter T handle socket or wrench and a 12 millimeter T handle socket or wrench. First off, that's wrong. What size is that? Eight. That's an eight millimeter. So there is a screw, a bolt here. There's a bolt on the side here. In the front, there is a plastic clip here. It will pry up and pull that, and that should take off the side plastic. There might be one under the seat. We're gonna find out. So we got this bike in 2019 and because of all the, you know, everybody knows what happened last year, uh, we really didn't ride this or go anywhere. They just ride around the neighborhood on it. So it didn't get dirty. Um, like if we were riding it in the woods, so, or trails, so you can see it looks, still looks pretty dang brand new, except for a couple scratches in it. So what's the size is that? Eight also. That's also an eight. Mm -hmm. So there's an eight millimeter that takes the two bolts out from the exhaust shield. And I believe that will go back on the pro circuit pipe. That's why they have those captive nuts there because it didn't come with one.
All right, once you get that off, we'll move on to... I would just loosen these two, but don't mm -hmm. take them completely yeah. out, or these three. Wait, no, I'm sorry, two. There's two that hold it. This one here holds it to the frame. This one holds it to the frame, and the two that hold it into the head, the cylinder head. So loosen the two in the cylinder head first, and that is a 12 millimeter. And this might also be a 12 millimeter. Let me see real quick. Nope. Oh, yeah, that is 12 and 12. Okay. So they were the instructions were partly right. It was 12 millimeter and 8 millimeter. Take them off evenly. That's what I usually do. Oh. I'm sorry, there's our poppers. <laughs> do the other side loose? Yep. Okay. Okay, we got the old exhaust off, time to install head pipe, header, whatever you want to call it, I'm not sure exactly what it's called. Okay, don't crank it down too tight. All right, so we're gonna move on and assemble the rest. All right, as you can see, we have just the header pipe on and I wanna fire it up just to hear what it sounds like how loud it's gonna be. I won't let it run for very long. <laughs> Didn't sound at all what I thought it would sound like, but it's definitely loud. All right, so it, the instructions came, or I mean, I'm sorry, the kit came with a little bit of uh, anti-seize in a packet. So the instructions said to apply some between the head pipe and the inside of the muffler. So we're gonna do that right now. Yep, 
yes, it's 4th of July weekend, so all the neighbors are happily setting off fireworks. Should be good, bud. Might not even go in that far. You know what I would do? Unloosen this one yeah. a little bit. Since we don't have music, music playing in the background, how about I sing to you? Alright, I won't sing. That's, that's good. Just get that, start that other one. You know what? Loosen up the okay. um, bolts on the head. So you just learn something. I never tighten everything up until we're completely ready to. Everything's installed. I always, I always put on my bolts hand tight so everything's still flexible and, and able to move around. Do you get the other side? Yeah. Okay. Did that help? Yeah, just enough. Now. Since those two holes are stationary and there's not much wiggle room, you want to tighten those down first, and then we'll go back to the head and tighten down the two head bolts. Okay, we have completed the installation, all the plastics back on, everything's tight. We are ready to fire it up. So go ahead and do the honors. Oh well, uh, we couldn't find an Allen key to fit that here at the house. So next time we take it down our, our shop, or garage, whatever you want to call it. We call it a shop, but you guys have seen it's not really much of a shop. So Can I put it? now the boys are going to warm it up and take it for a ride and we'll see what it sounds like warm. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You can see how easy it is to install one of these exhausts on this little uh, 110. And um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them. Thank you, Coltrane, for working on this and installing that. And thank you to anybody that likes the video and subscribes to the channel. We'll see you on the next one. Let me try it now. <laughs>